Chapter 2, Arithmetic Functions and Dirichlet Multiplication. I'm going to start by defining a couple of functions. The first one is the Mobius function, mu of n. Now if we have the prime factors written out, um, then mu of n is equal to minus 1 to the power k, where k is the number of distinct prime factors. That's if it's square free. Um, it equals 0 if it's got a square factor greater than 1 and it equals 1 if, if, if n is 1. So essentially, an example of this is, let's say, mu of 8. Well, 8 has a square factor, so that must equal 0, square factor being 2 squared. Mu of uh, 10. 10 is 2 times 5, so there's two prime factors, so it's minus 1 to the power 2, which is plus 1. And the Mobius function is important in number theory. One of the fundamental properties is a remarkably simple formula for the divisor sum, uh, the sum of divisors of n of mu of all those divisors. Now that is always um, one divided by the greatest one divided by n, the greatest integer less than that. So in other words, it's zero uh, if if n is greater than one and 1 if n equals 1. The next fellow we're going to look at is the Euler totient function, phi of n. Now phi of n is equal to the sum, it's basically the number of um, positive integers below n which are relatively prime to it. Uh, that's what this sort of prime here, this, this fellow here tells us in this summation. Uh, so an example, phi of 10 the number uh, of, of, of no, relatively prime to 10, well, is 3. Uh, there's also 7 and 9. 3, 7 and 9 are relatively prime to 10. So I think that, that's 3. Oh, and of course 1, so 4. Uh, so 5 of 10 equals 4. Now, a couple of a couple of useful things about phi. I'm going to come, come, come across it again and again and again. Um, the sum uh, of phi of d as d divides n equals n. Um, now, to say this in real time, just change the colour. Um, if n is 12 then, then that should tell us that all the divisors of 12, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The sum of phi's of all of these should add up to 12. Well, the number of integers relatively prime to 1 is 1. Relatively prime to 2 is 1. Relatively prime to 3 is 2. That's 1 and 2. Relatively prime to 4 is 1 and 3. Relatively prime to 6 is 1 and 5. And relatively prime to 12, we've just seen, is 1, 3, 7, and 9. Hopefully that lot adds up to 12. The formula on the screen now, linking phi to mu, linking the, the uh, Mobius function to Euler Totian function, tells us that the number of um, numbers relatively prime to n is equal to the sum, as d divides n, of all of these uh, mu of d times n over d. Let's have a look at that working with 12. Phi of 12 then should equal the sum as d divides 12 of mu of d times 12 over d. Uh, let's have a look at that. And d divides 12, the numbers that we're looking for there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Those are the divisors of 12. Uh, so for 1, we've got mu, mu of 1 is 1 times 12. Add. Uh, if d is 2, mu of 2, 2 is just 2, so that's minus 1 times 12 over 2, which is minus 6. If mu is 3, then that's 3 is 3 times 1, so that is minus 1 times 12 over 3 
if mu is 4, or 4 is a square number, so that's 0. If mu is 6, well, 6 is 2 times 3, so that's plus 1, uh, times 12 over 6. And to that I need to add, well, when, mu, when d is 12, 12 has, 12 has a square factor, so mu is 0. So that gives us 12... 12 minus 6, which is 6, minus 4, which is 2, add 2, which is 4, which is precisely what 5, 12 is. There's another formula for the totient function. Let's again look at it with n is 12. We get 12 times the product of primes, as primes divide 12, that's just uh, 2 and 3, of 1 minus 1 over p. So with 2, we get uh, 1 minus a half. And with 3, we get 1 minus a third. So that in total is 12, 12 times a half, which is 6, times 2 thirds, which is 4, which is again what 5n is.